Spend enough time on a backwater like Ord Mantel, you almost forget what a civilized planet's supposed to look like. I did my officer training here, back before I was deployed to Ord Mantel. There was still a fair bit of reconstruction going on then. Rebuilding things the Imperials destroyed. I still can't believe the Empire managed to sack Coruscant back in the war. The capital of the entire Republic, and they raided it like some outer rim mud ball. You'd think our capital would be better defended. The Republic committed its forces to engaging the Empire on outlying worlds. Defending Coruscant was an afterthought. Anyways, we should get moving. Don't want to keep anyone important waiting. Exactly what I'm saying. I can assure you that I've seen no shred of proof supporting these rumors of a defection within Spec Force Division. General, surely you understand. We need more than just your assurances in a matter of this... My assurances are what you're getting, Senator. They'll have to be enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I seem to have a guest. But, General... Impeccable timing, Lieutenant. I'm General Garza. It's good to finally meet you in person. It's an honor to be here, General. I have to congratulate you. Surviving the ordeal on Ord Mantell took skill and courage. I'm impressed. Just doing my duty. All the same, you got more done than most other soldiers would have in a situation. Sergeant Jorgen, I'm pleased to have you with us as well. General Vander holds you in very high regard. Thank you, sir. But General Vander has an odd way of showing his regard. Vander did the best he could for you, Sergeant. And I'd say a position in the Republic's most decorated Special Forces squad is doing very well indeed. It's regrettable about Tavis and the others. I knew they were upset, but I never imagined they would be so foolish as to defect. Nevertheless, whatever your former squad mates once were to us, they are now extremely dangerous enemies of the Republic. Protecting the Republic from its enemies is our duty. I'm glad I can depend on you to do what's necessary, Lieutenant. So, let's load up a strike shuttle and hunt Tavis and the rest of them down like the scum they are. I would very much like to give that order, Sergeant. But I'm afraid we've discovered some new information since you left Ord Mantell. Our intelligence shows that hundreds of other Special Forces soldiers have followed Tavis and defected to the Empire. In short, Lieutenant, we have a catastrophe on our hands. What's the plan? We have one powerful asset that Tavis and his followers haven't planned for. You. Tavis believes you're dead on Ord Mantell, and that Havoc's defection is still a secret. Right now, Tavis will be securing his armament and supplies. We need to cut those supply lines while he isn't expecting it. Makes sense to me. In the past, when Havoc needed supplies outside of the normal Republic channels, they purchased the items from underworld groups here on Coruscant. I have units working to cut off these underworld sources, but two organizations are proving difficult. The Black Sun and the Migrant Merchants Guild. I'll take care of these people for you, sir. You'll begin with the Migrant Merchants Guild. Our intelligence indicates that they're supplying Tavis with a full platoon of advanced war droids. Your mission, in the broad strokes, will be to locate the droid shipments going to Tavis and destroy them. What if we let the shipments go? Then we could follow them straight to Tavis. I can't risk the possibility that these items could fall into Tavis's hands. One of my people, Corporal Garum, will meet you outside the Migrant Merchant Guild's territory with the full operational details. These missions are critical, Lieutenant. Our future success or failure is contingent on how well supplied Tavis and his followers are. I won't fail. Good. The safety of the entire Republic depends on your success. I'll be observing your operations from here through your armor cam. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Um, sir. Ready to brief you on the Migrant Merchants Guild at your command, sir. Let's get down to business. Here's the situation, sir. The Migrant Merchants Guild is a criminal organization comprised primarily of non-humans whose homes were destroyed by the Empire's assault on Coruscant. They began squatting in this district and refused to leave when Republic security tried to push them out. There's been an uneasy truce ever since. What's the op? General Garza informed me that your primary target within the Guild is a cyborg inventor named Krell. Reports indicate that Krell's strength and speed are at least triple the human norm, with genius-level intelligence to boot. Taking him down will be a real challenge, sir. I'll stay alert. Additionally, Krell has designed and constructed a full platoon of advanced war droids that we believe are intended for Tavis and the other Spec Force traitors. A full platoon is a lot of firepower to lose. Tavis is really gonna feel this one. General Garza wants all of Krell's war droids neutralized before they can be shipped out, sir. What's so advanced about these war droids? Heavy armor, multiple integrated weapon systems, and advanced combat and targeting logic, sir. The deadliest droids money can buy. 
Krell has his war droids patrolling the migrant merchants' guild base. General Garza wants them all found and destroyed. Do you have a fix on Krell's location? Negative, sir. We know he's inside, but that's about it. That concludes the briefing, sir. Good luck and good hunting. Do you really believe you can come here and destroy my creations without conscience? When you die here today, your feeble Republic will learn what it means to meddle in my work. In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. Surrender to you? Don't be ridiculous. I could crush your skull with a single hand. You're far too late. My plans are already in motion. Soon the people of this world will be brought to their knees by my greatest creations, my masterpieces. What are you talking about, Krell? I have taken ordinary humans off the streets and implanted several of them with advanced cybernetic enhancements. Their abilities now rival even my own. The cyborg's enhancements are internal and undetectable. The subjects themselves don't know who among them was augmented, and neither will anyone else, until it's much too late. I'm gonna make you pay for hurting those people, Krell. Fool! This cannot end in any way but your death. After you've been dealt with, I'll release my creations back to their normal lives, to wait until my hidden programming activates. This guy's full of it. I don't buy any of this. Once my masterpieces begin their work, the people of Coruscant will never be safe again. What are these cyborgs going to do? I'm afraid you're never going to find out. Destroy him! <laughs> Come in, Lieutenant. I want you to move immediately and destroy the cyborgs that Krell created. We need to deal with them now before they can disappear into the normal population. These situations are never easy. These people did not choose to be what they now are, but many more lives could be at stake. You have to eliminate Krell's creations. I can't know for sure if Krell was telling the truth, sir. Whether Krell was bluffing or not, these cyborgs are a risk we cannot allow. I'm giving you the kill order, Lieutenant. I take full responsibility for the consequences. Now get it done. Killing these people is wrong, and you know it, Garza. It's right for the Republic. That's our only concern. Garza out. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the traitors, not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. I'm not going to murder these people. I don't care what Garza says. Whatever we're gonna do, let's do it fast. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. Just open the door. Let's talk about this. But we're not cyborgs. I, I know if I was some half-machine freak. This is insane. You out there, listen. I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I, I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's a- Both of you, stop it! None of us are cyborgs. That's all there is to it. There's just no way to tell for sure, ma'am. This is insane! Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? You're right. This is absurd. I can't do this. Then- you won't hurt us, you'll let us go. Give me your names and identification numbers, and I'll let you go. What, so you can track us all down and kill us later? No way. If it gets us out of here alive, then it's worth it. We'll put the information on a data pad for you, soldier. Okay, stand back. I'm going to open the door. Here's the data pad, soldier. Thank you for sparing us. Let's go home, everyone. 
Stay safe out there. Thanks again, soldier. Farewell. Lieutenant, my orders were perfectly clear. Eliminate Krell cyborgs. With all due respect, General, I could not obey those orders. My orders are not polite suggestions, Lieutenant. You don't choose to follow them. You follow them. Lieutenant, when you are on a mission, you listen to my orders. Then your brain, then your heart, in that order. There's no room for sentiment in our line of work. There should be similarly little room for it in you. Or we're doomed to fail. If we're heartless, what separates us from the Empire? We are heartless so that the people of the Republic don't have to be, Lieutenant. So that the Republic does not become the Empire. Always remember that. Return to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. I trust no more needs to be said about your work against the Migrant Merchants Guild. Let's move on to your next target, the Black Sun. A powerful organization composed of Coruscant's most violent criminals. Black Sun has a wide network of sources providing them with the deadliest weaponry available, including a powerful nerve agent that they're selling to Tavis in bulk. We can't let that nerve gas reach Tavis. A Spec 4 Sergeant Jaxo has carried out some advanced reconnaissance of Black Sun's headquarters. You'll rendezvous with her for a detailed plan of attack. We can't risk any of this nerve gas falling into Tavis's hands, Lieutenant. Use all necessary force. Dismissed. Must be my lucky day. Wow, you're the new Havoc CO. Must be my lucky day. I'm Jaxo. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Working with a beautiful woman on a dangerous mission? I'd say it's my lucky day. You wanna focus, sir? We've got a job to do here, remember? Nothing says your boss can't have a little fun, Sergeant. Let's get those op details out of the way. Your highly enviable task is to destroy a cache of nerve gas canisters that the Black Sun Syndicate is shipping to Tavis. The gas is called Travoris. Scary stuff. One canister can cover a square kilometer with 100% fatality inside of 10 minutes. Can't say I'm too excited about being near this stuff. No joke. Volunteers aren't exactly lining up for the pleasure. Lucky for us, it's pretty easy to neutralize Travoris, at least while it's still in the canisters. The compound in this bottle renders Travoris completely inert on contact. Just plug it into the canisters inside the Black Sun base, and the whole batch is history. That sounds easy enough. Uh, yeah, but you'll have to shoot your way past Black Sun's toughest enforcers to do it. You also have another objective. A few hours ago, a bright red case was moved into the Black Sun's base under heavy guard. If whatever's inside that case is valuable to Black Sun, it's bad news for us. So your job will be to find the case and bring me its contents. I just can't say no to you, Jaxo. Well, I'll have to keep that in mind. One last detail. Black Sun has signal jammers throughout their base, so General Garza won't know to send help if you get in over your head. Is there any way to shut down the jammers? No. The jammers are built into the walls of the hideout. It would take hours to bore them all out and trash them. Once you've taken care of the Travoris canisters and nabbed whatever's inside that red case, be sure to meet me back here to confirm the mission results. Good luck, Lieutenant. Hey, you're back. Was the op a success? Were you able to neutralize the Travoris? Mission complete. I wouldn't expect anything less from a man like you. How about that red case? Were you able to grab whatever was inside? The case contained this blaster, Sergeant. I've never seen one quite like it. Must be some sort of new prototype. I'll take it back to headquarters for analysis. Maybe we can find out where Black Sun is getting their weapons. Looks like we're all done here. It's been a blast, Lieutenant. I hope we get to work together again sometime. I'll be sure to put your name forward the next time I need backup. Sounds good to me. See you later. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. A situation has developed with the Senate, and I need your help. What can I do to help, sir? Despite my best efforts, three members of the Senate Defense Committee have learned about Havoc Squad's defection, and they want to know the specifics. It's an informal inquiry for the time being, but you can bet it won't end there. I hate politics. The Senate represents the people. It's our duty to aid them. That's all well and good, Lieutenant. But every moment we waste on questions is a moment Tavis and his traitors have to prepare for us. 
The senators have asked that you appear in their office at the Senate Tower immediately to testify in the inquiry. I am barred from influencing your testimony, but I will remind you that the more information that becomes public, the harder our job becomes. It's my duty to provide accurate information to the Senate. And I would certainly never advise you against keeping the Senate fully informed of our activities, Lieutenant. The Senators are already waiting for you. Hurry back to the Senate Tower and try to get this over with quickly. Garza out. As if we didn't have enough problems already. Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. I'm at your service, Senators. I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantell, Lieutenant. Is that correct? That's right, Senator. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Senator. My squad defected right in front of me. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? I don't believe there were any such signs, Senator. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantell should have seen this situation coming? I don't think anyone could have seen this coming, sir. Commander Tavis and the others must have been quite subtle indeed. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect? Senator, I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. Tavis said the Republic left Havoc to die on Ando Prime. Is that true? As I said, Lieutenant, that subject is classified. You needn't trouble yourself about it. Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant. Good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. Whoever the Black Sun sources are, they're good. And whatever you hope to achieve with your Senate testimony, you certainly didn't make my job any easier. It's my duty to tell the Senate the full truth. Our top operators have defected to the Empire. That should be a much larger concern to you than playing it safe with a pack of bureaucrats. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden. The founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis' former mentor has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Cardin tied with the defection, General? Cardin resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Tavis told me that Ando Prime was the reason for Havoc's defection. What happened on that planet? We sent Havoc to Ando Prime to cut off an Imperial offensive. But the enemy numbers were much bigger than Intel had led us to believe. When we tried to dispatch an extraction team, the Senate shut down the entire operation. We were causing an incident and breaching the peace. <sighs> Bureaucrats. Havoc was left with no support and no way home. But in spite of insurmountable odds, Cardin led Havoc out of there alive. Havoc's squad really was betrayed by the Senate. They were put in a terrible situation, Lieutenant, but that doesn't excuse their actions. Cardin resigned as soon as he learned the truth, and Tavis took over the squad. They were never quite the same. What is important now is that we've discovered Jet Cardin's location. I want you to bring him in at all costs. I'll take care of it. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicar's Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. These vigilantes must be pros to control that much territory. They're very popular on the lower levels, keeping the peace where the Republic won't. But make no mistake, the Justicars are no friends to the Republic. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicars' main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. I'll have Cardin back here on the double, sir. 
I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Helping you has already put my operation at risk. You will do exactly as I say, when I say, or... Or you'll what, Captain? I'm not one of your lock-stepping drones. This part of the op is mine. End of discussion. How dare you! Intruders! Put those blasters on the floor, soldiers. Nice and slow. In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. It's over, Cardin. You, the imps, Tavis, you're all going down. Not gonna happen, soldier. Now drop that weapon before... A Havoc badge. Is this a joke? No, no. You must be the new recruit Tavis told me about. So you survived after all. Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Havoc always did recruit the best. Surrender. And this will all go much easier for you. You are persistent, soldier. I'll give you that. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old lady would send someone after me so quickly. After all these years, Garza still hasn't lost her edge. What are you waiting for, Cotton? Kill the whelp! Or do you lack the true resolve to fight for the Empire? My loyalty is to Tavis, not to your Empire and not to anyone else. You want the trooper dead? You take care of it. I don't kill good soldiers. I'm heading down to the works to make sure everything is prepped. You won't escape me for long, Cardin. Do yourself a favor and die now, soldier, before you get in any deeper over your head. Open fire, men! Come in, Lieutenant. Is it my imagination, or were those Imperial soldiers you just fought? No mistake, sir. These were Imperial commandos. Imperial soldiers in uniform operating on the lower levels of Coruscant, and Republic security knows nothing about it? Incredible. We need to learn more about this link between the Justicars and the Empire. If they're hosting our enemies, they might have some useful information for us. I'll see what I can find down here, sir. Where should I start looking? Surveillance shows that the Justicars have their primary computer terminal in that base. Find the necessary access card and activate that computer terminal. My technicians can then slice in and uncover everything the Justicars and Imperials have been up to. I'll take care of this immediately. Good. Garza out. Work, Lieutenant. My technicians are accessing the Justicar files now. Patrol schedules, supply manifests, prisoner records. Ah, Card and you. I think we've found what we're looking for, Lieutenant. You have a new target. Just tell me who and where. Cardin had the Justicars work with the Imperials to hijack and rebuild an abandoned Republic communications relay, down in an industrial area called the Works. Apparently, Tavis and his followers are using this relay to route all of their interplanetary communications. If we destroy it, the traitors will be completely cut off from one another. And taking the traitors down will be a lot easier if they're isolated. I'm sending Sergeant Mackham to bring you the explosives. You'll need to destroy the relay. He'll rendezvous with you shortly. Dangerous ops are always the most fun. One last thing. Cardin didn't seem to mesh with the Imperials. I don't think he's as convinced of their supremacy as his protégés are. You're sure to find him guarding that con relay. Kill him if you have to, Lieutenant, but try to persuade him to surrender peacefully first. I'll give it my best shot, General. Please do, Lieutenant. Cardin's only concern is the safety of the former Havoc members. He may not be loyal to us, but he isn't loyal to the Empire either. Convince him that it's in the best interest of Tavis and the others for him to surrender. That's the best way to sway him. Sounds like a plan, General. Cardin could help us convince everyone to surrender peaceably. Make him see that. Otherwise, we're only going to kill them all. Now, hurry and rendezvous with Sergeant Mathen. You'll need those explosives, regardless of what happens with Cardin. Good luck. Garza out. Sergeant Mathen reporting for duty with fun toys in tow, sir. Let's see what you got for me. First item of business is your detonator, sir. A Zerka Arms 53R high yield thermite explosive. Guaranteed to get a party started. Or ended. That'll be perfect. Now, the comm relay you're going after is in the works, an industrial area on the lower levels of Coruscant. It's a dangerous place, LT. Besides the Imperials, you're bound to find. The rogue service droids down there will squash anyone they can get their big metal claws around. Thanks for the warning, Sergeant. Just doing my job, LT.
Once you've made your way to the relay, plant that detonator on the generator coupling at the center and clear out of there before it goes off. That's all there is to it, LT. I won't hold you up any longer. Good luck. Still alive, huh? You really should have gotten out of this while you were ahead, soldier. Now you're a risk to Tavis and the rest of my people. So Havoc Squad or not, I'm going to have to kill you. You always have a choice, sir. I've made my choice. Tavis, Wraith, Needles, Gearbox, Fuse. They're like my children, and I abandoned them. I resigned and left them to fight alone, just to make a point. They need my help now more than ever. I'm not going to abandon them. Not this time. If you want to help your people, you'll help me bring them in alive. What? So Garza can have all their heads and be done with it? I don't think so. I know you're trying to get into my head, soldier, but it's not gonna work. I'm just talking, sir. One soldier to another. What do we have to talk about? Our objectives are completely at odds. I'm trying to keep my people alive, and it's your mission to kill them. That's all there is to this, soldier. I served with your people, sir. I don't want to kill them. Well, you've certainly taken your time trying to kill me. Hmm. You've already compromised the relay. Even if we take you out, it's only a matter of time until Garza has this place slagged for a click in every direction. And by now, Garza will know exactly where all the defector bases are. They'll be tethered banthas, cut off from each other and all... Excuse me, sir, but shouldn't we be... The Imperials might offer help, but it won't be much. They'll all be left to die. Tavis and the others will follow your lead. If you come in peacefully, they will too. Damn, I can't believe it's come to this. Sir? All right, soldier, I'll go along with this. But if you harm a single one of my people, you will be dead within the day. Understood? You have my word on it, Carden. Let's get on with this, soldier. I can't allow you to go into enemy custody alive, Carden. Are you still here? The op's over, people. Finished. Mission failed. So get out of here while you still got the legs to carry you. You leave me no choice, sir. Ready your weapons, men. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Here's my weapon. Consider me surrendered. I'll make my way up to the Senate Tower and turn myself in. See what Garza wants to do next. I'm glad to have you back on our side. I never said I was on your side, soldier. I'm doing this for my people, not for your Republic or anything else. Anyhow, I'm sure we'll meet again. I'm glad I had a chance to fight with you, sir. Yeah, I guess it was nice to finally stretch my legs out a bit. See you topside, soldier. Let's go take out that relay and give Card's little baby something to think about. I'm proud of you, Lieutenant. You've done well. Just doing my job. Jack Carden walked up to the Senate Tower's front door and surrendered himself in broad daylight. I never thought I'd see the day. Carden's help will give us quite an edge against Tavis and the others. I'm glad you could change his mind. Do we have Carden in a secure location? Shortly. First, we'll make sure he doesn't have any tricks up his sleeves. I haven't come this far by taking chances. The Justicar's computer files included messages relayed between four locations. Our technicians are working to pinpoint those locations now. There can be no doubt that the messages will lead us to the other traitors. Thanks to your efforts, we'll be able to bring them all to justice very soon. I'm glad our plan has worked out so far. Possibly a bit too well. One of the traitors has already moved against us. Wraith. You remember Senator Krasul from your meeting with the Senate earlier? Wraith kidnapped him from his home just afterward. We've tracked them to a remote space station called Port Raga. How could Wraith manage to kidnap a Republic Senator? Wraith was chosen for Havoc Squad for a reason. Her skills are exceptional. One of our teams is already en route to Port Raga. They'll investigate the situation and give you a detailed report on arrival. You've accomplished some amazing things, Lieutenant. But there's no time for a break yet. Whatever Wraith is planning, we cannot allow her to succeed. Understood? I won't rest until the job is done. I know you won't, Lieutenant. Havoc Squad requires its own starship for operational flexibility. Our ship has already been transferred to your command. 
It's waiting at the spaceport now. Thank you very much. Put it to good use, Lieutenant. Fly to Port Raga and meet with the advance team immediately. Your orders are to rescue Senator Krasul and capture or eliminate Wraith at all costs. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Let's get out there and take down some traitors. Calling Coruscant Spaceport Authority. Request permission to depart. You are clear for departure. Have a pleasant flight. <laughs> 